Okay, so after we feed the ink to the ink damper, then now we start to feed the ink to print head. First, we pop off the machine and we pull the carriage to the left side. Then we can see these two print heads, the white print head and color print head. We can see some ink dropping now, but uh, it's, it's not full enough because the first time we install print head, it still have some air inside print head. So we, for first we use the hand making tools with injection and with damper, uh, with the cap station, and then we hold the damper of the, the tools by this way, and we put on the surface of the wet print head, and we start to pull out, to pull the water ink out. And if you can pull the ink out and you have, a, you have pressure, that means that print head is installed where without see the water ink coming. That means the print head is installed where without leaking air. And then we loosen and we use the edge to wipe out the waste ink they are surface the print head. And we can start to use another way. After we fill the ink out, we fill ink every one or two seconds, one time, like this, quickly, to make air coming out. Then we flush out the ink. When we clean it, use the, the non-burn tissue to clean it. See, when we quick pour, all the six channels are coming out, the white ink. We can we got the drops, but the drop the ink will not dropping down. So that means the pressure is okay. After pour, we clean it, by this way. And also we clean use another brand new tools to pour the ink from the color print head. See this is the color. We also pour at the same time. We can get the color ink out. But you can see the first time is too much air bubbles. So we need to keep pour every one second quickly. But this way. This is just for test if the print head is installed where. And also, you can use by this way to pour the ink if uh, the cap station gets a problem or the cap station is blocked. You can also use the by this way to clean the print head and the flush print head. This is the most uh, effective and easy way to wipe the print head and to load ink. After that, we also use the clean tissue to wipe it, clean it. But this way, to from, from back side to front side. Because if you, if you clean by this way, we make the print head, the ink, the color mismatch. So this is the method to load ink. Ink. Okay, so this is the, all the procedure to load the ink from the ink damper to print head. We must pay attention to that first we need to pop off the machine and we pull the carriage from home position to left side and we use the hand, hand making the cap, cap station to check 
if the printing head is the wear and pour the ink every three, two to three seconds one time to pour the ink out from the damper to print head. So this is the old procedure. So after we uh, load the ink to the print head ready, then we can start to power on the machine and we do the clean function from the software and we can start to do the calibration. So now we just uh, power, uh, power on the machine. Before we power on the machine, we must be sure the print head have enough gap between the print head with the table. We are not scratch. The best thickness between the meter with the print head is two to three millimeter, two to three millimeter. If it's too long, too long distance, over three millimeters, many minutes, the printing, printing quality will be worse. And if too close to the print head, we are easy to damage, scratch the print head. So please remember the best uh, parameter, best distance between the table or the surface of the print head and the surface of the t-shirt material is two or three millimeter. Okay, so after we be sure it's not scratch the print head, everything's okay, then we can start to power on the machine. Okay, when the screen show ready, then means machine power on succeed. Once you're ready, that means succeed. Ready, and the machine online. The USB cable connect with the machine, machine with, with computer ready. Then we can go to the software and we go to clean the print head. And let's go to the cap station and we see, let's see how the clean pumps working and the vapor. Okay, so after we fill the ink to the print head, we can then, and then also we power on the machine succeed, then we can start to clean the printing head by the software. So we just uh, open the focus burger jet control system and we find out the clean. First, we go to print head one to clean the wet ink print head. When we click print, clean, the pump start pumping the ink out. Then release the cap station and pump the waste ink out. Then the wiper move up to wipe the waste ink at print head surface. Then moving down and the carriage back to home position. And then start to flushing the ink out from the print head. And pump the flush ink out. Then back to home position for keep weight. So this is all the procedure to clean the print head. And also we clean the color print head by the same way. We just choose clean, normal, and head two. Start flashing and pump the waste ink out. 
and catch back to home position for keep weight. So after we clean the print head, how we know if the ink pumped out or not, we need to move out the carriage out of home position. So after we clean the print head from the software, how we know if the ink go to the cap station and go to the waste ink tank, yes or no, it goes through or not. So we can go to the software and we place move to left, move the collector out of home position. And then we can see the two cap station, the white and color all are full with waste ink. If it is still brand new, it's nothing ink, don't have any ink on the, stay on the white ink cap or color ink cap, that means the ink is not goes through. If it have ink, it means it's the ink goes through to the cap station and to the, to the waste ink tank already. And also you can check if the waste ink tank inside have waste ink or not. So right now we already have waste ink pumped to the waste ink tank. So that means the ink is goes through to the cap station already. And then we need, just need to do the another check print. And also if you move the ca carriage on the middle, you, you also can go to software and you place the X home again to make the carriage back to home position to keep weight. Okay, now we need to do the nozzle check to see if the nozzle OR coming out. <laughs> 